Hey guys, it's Keisha. Nice to meet you and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. And as of lately, I've just been posting my travel vlogs, but over on my last video, someone had asked me how do I combat the humidity and how do I keep my hair from getting frizzy? How do I get my hair from getting frizzy? And my short answer is I don't. And I was this close to like doing my hair so I could like look presentable on camera, but like this is day two hair. I just put my hair in two little braids. And as you can see, I have frizz like it's inevitable at this point like I am in a hot climate um, I don't think it rained in Vietnam the whole time we've been here okay it's hot I'm sweating we ride motorbikes every day so I'm wearing a helmet so like realistically my hair isn't looking gorgeous and popping and disclaimer I do have extremely damaged hair so my hair doesn't even look like how it looked in my previous hair videos where my curls were like popping no like this is new growth actually this is how all of my hair is supposed to look but i'm being very transparent with you guys i really don't want to show you guys how bad my heat damage is but uh. so i have this much new growth and all of this is they're dead that hair is gone and I'm on this natural hair journey and I, you know, I tried the Olaplex, I tried the Afro G and when you go through heat damage and on top of that you bleach your hair and then you get the chemical damage, there's no turning back from that. Like, there's no miracle working product. Like, you know, like I tried those rebonding creams and serums and shampoos. I tried all of that, you guys. And I've come to terms with it. My hair did get a little stronger, but when you go through extreme damage, there's you're not coming back from that, okay? Like, that's the bottom line. However, how I'm dealing with my hair in Southeast Asia, because that's where I'm at right now. I'm in Vietnam. Um, well, let me rewind a little bit on my whole, like, trip. Because it's not just traveling. Like, it's not just a journey to other countries. My hair is going through this journey as well. So I want to rewind it a little bit. While I was in Japan, I had access to Amazon. So I had access to American products. And during that time, I was using the Shea Moisture line. And then I was using the Olaplex line. Good, you know? It was good for me. Um, I did try a little bit of the Japanese products. But like I mostly stuck to my American products that I know. I know the ingredients just because... That's what I was used to. That's what my hair was used to. While I was in Japan, I bleached my hair. So that's why I decided to go on Olaplex. And I want to show you like videos of how stringy and just, uh, just damaged my hair looked. It was just really bad. But using Olaplex, it did make, it did make my hair stronger. But again, I'm not getting my curls back until I cut it off. You know, I'm being honest with myself. Once I grow out my hair, I have to cut off all the dead ends all of the straight pieces because it's really it's not cute all right so from japan we went to the philippines and during the philippines i found a curly hairline that i actually loved and i regret i 100 percent regret not buying some to bring to vietnam i don't remember the vietnam i don't remember the name of the line but i'll put a picture up right here and I just regret not buying a lot because it worked for me and my son's hair and it just worked really well in like the humidity and it was cheap but yeah if I ever go back to the, uh, the Philippines I'll definitely get that product okay fast forward now we are in Vietnam I'm in Vung Tau Vietnam which is the south of Vietnam in Vung Tau Vietnam I did not find any curly hair products and this is after searching different malls different little beauty stores there was just nothing available for curly hair. And I'm going to keep it real with you guys. When you visit Southeast Asia, they do not cater to black women, people with brown skin, people with curly hair, okay? That's something that you have to know going in because I just assume, like, okay, like, there might be a few people with curly hair. Like, no. Most of the Vietnamese people have straight hair. And if they do have curly hair, it's either a perm, you know, maybe in the future because there's so many like foreigners coming in and marrying Vietnamese people and then, you know, coming out with mixed people, you know, Belasians like myself, um, you know, maybe in the future, someone's going to be creating a curly hairline for from Vietnam. I was using the Tsubaki line. I use their shampoo. It's okay. It's a moisturizing shampoo. The only reason I got this one was because I was familiar with it. I use this in Japan. And then I get the Moist and Repair Treatment Cream. And I use this instead of a conditioner. 
And while I was in Vungtau, because I didn't have any leave-in conditioners, I actually used this as a leave-in. And I had to keep washing this out of my hair like every other day because this is meant to be washed out. Like, you know, I wouldn't recommend leaving a conditioner that's meant to be washed out in your hair just because I don't know how like damaging it is long term. I mean, it worked for me. I was improvising, okay? So yeah, that's what I was using in Vungtau. But now we are in Ho Chi Minh and this is like the inner city. So a lot more foreigners and more Vietnamese people can speak English so I feel like I was able to communicate with people as well and let me show you guys what I've been using all right so I actually found some curly hair products at a nearby like beauty store and again Vietnamese people don't have curly hair so this is not a Vietnamese brand it's actually a Korean brand which was shocking to me because I didn't know Koreans had curly hair I've never been to Korea yet. Um, this one, a Volume Curl, works really good. Um, I like the pink one better because it has a hold to it. This one isn't bad. Like, this one leaves my hair softer, but this one has, like, that crunchy cast a little bit. So I like this one because it makes my hair last longer. But And then I use this one on my son because I don't want his hair to be hard. <sighs> But they're both really good. They smell great. Um, it says it's called mice, mice and scene, mice and scene. I think I don't know. It says curling essence creates smooth and glossy curls and contains special ingredients such as in such as apricot seed oil, argan kernel oil, and hyaluronic acid. So yeah, if you guys are in Asia, you're looking for curly hair products um try this out i mean it's, it's working on my 3a to 3b hair and it works on my son's 3 to be 3b to 3c hair so try it out if you have a type 4 hair i don't have experience with that so yeah just try it out for yourself it wasn't that expensive i don't remember how much it was but yeah if you seen this product before try it out yeah that's what i've been using i wanted to be clear like this is for the people with curly hair that are traveling long term like i said these products are not perfect you know and i'm still gonna have frizzy hair i don't mind it as much i'll wear my hair really frizzy so it's up to your preferences on how you want to style your hair i've seen a lot of women who are visiting for like two three weeks and they have their braids or they're wearing weave or have a wig on so it's like you know they're taken care of but I'm traveling for months at a time so like I can't depend on a stylist to do my hair again I'm in Southeast Asia most of them are not familiar with curly hair or just my hair type even my husband he recently went and got a haircut and they did an okay job but like he said the first three barbershops he went to they declined him because they didn't nobody knew how to do his hair and he just got lucky on the fourth one so yeah, just be wary of that. I'm being 100% real with you guys. Like, I don't mind frizz. I don't mind big, puffy hair. This is me personally, so, like, I'm not worried about my hair being perfect. Like, again, this is how I'm walking out. My edges aren't laid. My hair is just in two pigtails. So, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I hope I answered your question pretty good. See you guys in the next video. Bye.